you've decided to try your hand at TikTok. You've overcome some extreme hurdles. Like finding the confidence deep within you to actually show your face on camera or figuring out how to use that darn green screen effect. But despite all of that, you finally found your groove when it comes to filming and editing on TikTok. Ha! Boom, baby! When all of the sudden, TikTok throws your groove off and you realize the adjust clips button has gotten a major facelift. No! You threw off my groove! Now what? Here's how to use TikTok Studio, the new in-app editing tool on TikTok to easily create your videos without an external editing app or software. That was a really long title. And note, if you don't already have TikTok Studio, you're probably gonna have it soon. So let's get into it. Also, your skin is looking absolutely flawless today and I wanted to make sure I just told you that before we jumped in the video. Okay, now let's get into it. Okay, first what we need to do is actually create the video that we're gonna edit with this new TikTok Studio. So I'm gonna go down to the plus sign, we're gonna make sure it's on the camera. Let's go ahead and film our little video. All the things I do for content. Okay, so now that I've created my video, I'm going to hit this check mark right here. And over on the right hand side where it would say adjust clips, we have the new TikTok studio. So I'm going to click on that and you're gonna see things look a little bit different than when they did with the adjust clips button. <laughs> First, what I'm going to show you guys is you can see this clip that I have here. I'm going to select it and there's going to be a white bar around it. And down below, I have a couple options. So first I can split the clip. So if I go to where I want to split it, let's say right after I do my thumbs up, I can click split and you can see it splits these two clips. So I can click on each one individually and do the settings for that. So if we're working with this first clip, I can then go into speed and I can make the video faster by dragging it to the right or slower by dragging it to the left, or I can leave it at one X and that's gonna be the normal speed. I can click apply to all. So it's gonna apply to all of the clips if I have multiple clips or I've split multiple clips, or I can just save it for this clip. I then have volume so I can adjust the volume for the clip. I can take it all the way down or increase it by dragging it to the right. And then I have rotate. So just by clicking on this, you can rotate your footage there or you can delete it. So that's what happens when you click on a clip. You can also, if you see the little things on the side pointing to the left or the right, I can click on that and actually drag this clip and make it shorter. Or I can click on the second clip and I can take off the end so I can adjust the length of the clips there. Just below our screen, you've got the undo and the redo button. So you can click on those there. So if I click undo, it's gonna undo the trim or I can click redo and it's gonna redo the trim there. I can also click on these this little box here and that's going to show me the video full screen so I can look at all of the edits I made. So I can click play and see the video there. And then just below that, I have this plus sign. If I click on this here, I can add in more clips to my video. So let's say I wanted to add some photos. I can select it there and add that in. <laughs> Okay, now let's talk about the general editing settings that you're gonna see right when you go into TikTok Studio. So if I look down at the bottom, first we have Sound Sync. So if I click on this, you'll notice it's going to add a sound into my video. So if I don't previously have a sound that I'm using and I wanna use Sound Sync, it's going to add that sound in there. If I want to change it, you can see I've selected the music clip and down below, I can replace the sound, I can adjust the volume, or I can delete the clip. So if I wanna replace this, I can click on replace sound and it's gonna show me the sound library. Now you don't have to do this if you've recorded a TikTok to a specific sound. So if I went and recorded a TikTok to the specific sound, it's already going to show up. So you can do that there or I can take the sound sync off. If I don't want to do the sound sync, I can just click on this add sound. And again, I can select from the library and add in a sound. So that's really nice there. What you do wanna make sure is that you cut the sound to the appropriate length. So you can see this sound is really long. So I'm gonna drag it all the way back to my clips here. Boom, so now there's not like music playing 
when there's not anything happening. And again, you're gonna have replace sound, volume, or delete. So that's really nice there. Next, you have the edit button. So if I click on the edit button, it's gonna pull up the same settings that you will see if you click on a clip. So basically, instead of clicking on this clip, I can click the edit button and you can see down below, it's gonna pull up all the same editing features. Next, we have the sound. So again, I can click on that instead of clicking on the actual clip and I can replace it, volume delete, or use these bars on the side to cut it and adjust it. From what I've tested so far, you can't add multiple pieces of music in the same TikTok. So it's gonna let me drag it here to just this first clip, as you can see. But if I go here, like right here where the clip ends, sound, it's not gonna let me add in a new sound. So if I click like sound sync right here, you can see it does the whole clip. So that is something to pay attention to. You can only use one sound clip on your video when editing within TikTok, okay? So that's the sound. Next we have text. So basically here on TikTok Studio, you can add the text where you would normally add it if I click save here on this video. I can normally add it on this screen. You can see text on the right hand corner, but I can also add it within TikTok Studio. So if I click on text here, I can click on add text down at the bottom and I can do my text that I want, add that in there and I can put that there and adjust it by holding my fingers and dragging it. And you can see, I can select the duration of the text down below, but I do want to show you guys first down below, I can add text to speech, which is like the Siri voice. Essentially, I can copy it or delete it. If I leave this and I go out of my text, you can see the pink bar. It moves above my clips and there's no way for me to click on it to edit my text unless I click on the text on my screen or if I go back here, you can also re-edit it by just clicking on text and it's gonna drag that below your clips so I can edit it and adjust it where I need to. So if I move it here or I can hold it and drag it further away, that's one thing that's really nice. And then the last thing that you can do with this here in the general editing settings is your overlay. So if I click on overlay here, I can plus sign and now I can add photos or videos on top of my existing video. So let's pick this picture of me and my husband, Brayden. I can add that over top. I can resize it with my fingers here. I can move it around the screen and I can basically add that on top. So I can completely cover my video if I want, kind of like the green screen effect, which is really nice. Or I can also do this with videos. So if I delete this clip, I can add another overlay. Let's add a video on top here. And now you can see I have that video on top of me and my brother <laughs> doing a TikTok challenge. And basically you're gonna have the same setting. So I can click on this, I can edit it, I can hold it and drag it here to the front of this clip. I can cut it. So that's how you deal with the overlays. One last thing that I wanna show you guys here, if we go back to our general editing screen, is I can rearrange the clips. So if I select a clip and I hold it, you can see it's gonna allow me to drag it where I want it and I can rearrange my clip. So that's kind of a general look at all of the different settings within TikTok Studio. And once you're done, make sure you hit save to save all of your edits, or if you wanna discard all of the edits you made, go ahead and click the cancel button. Two of my favorite things with this new TikTok studio is one, the crop feature. So if I select this clip here, I can actually, you can see this blue border around my video. I can take my fingers and crop my video. So if I wanted to zoom in on my face, I can do that in this clip, or let's say I just wanted the beginning. I can split this clip. So if I take it back to normal here by just using my fingers, I can take the clip, I can split it there. And let's say I wanted to zoom in on this first part. I can do that and it is so much easier to do this on TikTok Studio. I don't even think it was possible to do this with the adjust clips. And so I would have to go and edit my TikToks on like my computer to do that but this is so much easier. So I really, really love that. The second thing that I think really is so much nicer with this feature is it's so much easier to add videos and images than it was before. So yes, you did have the option to upload and pick as many videos or pictures as you wanted, but in a single TikTok, it was just a little clunky. And if you wanted to add pictures and videos, it was kind of weird. So just having this plus sign here that you can click on, 
to add pictures and videos makes it really nice. And I can just click next and add them in and then easily arrange them or crop them. So you see if I want to zoom this in, I can do that. All of those things are so much easier than before when you were using the adjust clips button. <laughs> Now, my least favorite thing by far when using this new TikTok studio is your ability to redo a clip. So you guys can see right now, there's no option anywhere to redo a clip. And I've learned <laughs> the hard way and through testing it out is you'll only have the option to redo a clip if you've used the timer on TikTok for at least one of your clips. So you don't have to use it on all of them. At least that's what I found. So let me show you guys what I mean. So I'm gonna cancel this and I'm just gonna redo a video, okay? And I'm gonna use the timer. I'll just go ahead and set it and then stop the, the camera. So we're using a timer, okay? And then I'm not gonna use a timer on the second clip. So I'm gonna hit record, awesome. Okay, so there are my two clips. I'm gonna hit the check mark here. Let's go into the studio. And now you can see if I select a clip down at the bottom, I now have the option to hit this start over button. If I go to this other clip, I didn't use the timer, but I still have the ability to use the start over button because I've used the timer for at least one of my clips. So that for one is super funky. I don't necessarily like that, but <laughs> you guys, here is the worst part, okay? When you click on start over, it's gonna pull it up, awesome, everything looks the same. But regardless if you're using the timer or I just hit record, I know I don't have any music, it doesn't play the sound. If you're doing any sort of lip syncing, you can't redo the clip within the editing feature on TikTok, which is really unfortunate because I actually created a video here on YouTube of how to film multiple characters so you're not changing like a thousand times. And this new method totally negates that. I I'm not really sure why you can't hear any sound if that's just a little glitch with this TikTok studio still being really, really new. But keep that in mind. If you're gonna use that method that I showed you guys in that film multiple characters video, if you have the TikTok studio, you're not going to be able to do that at this time. Again, I really am just hoping it's a glitch and that they'll fix it. So that is by far my least favorite thing. So there you guys go. That is how to use the new TikTok studio update. And let me know down in the comments, are you excited for this new update? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I would love to hear you guys' opinion. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those down in the comments below. If you guys have found any value in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because you guys, subscribing is free and it helps out my channel so, so much. So I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for taking your time to watch my content today and I will catch you on the next video. Bye dudes.